The Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire demo, while thankfully not the only way, might be the coolest way to get your hands on the Mega Stone for Glalie or Steelix, but only in Japan for some reason. Most of us got Glalie, but after March 27th, you will not be able to download or re-download this game anymore, thanks to the Wii U and 3DS eShop being closed down for good. So if you, like me, enjoy the preservation of video games, or video game related software, act fast. For the average viewer though, luckily this demo does not include anything exclusive. It might be fun to take a look at it for old time's sake though. Now I don't know about you, but I unlocked some very fond memories replaying this game for the first time since I was probably 15, and I remember so eagerly awaiting for these full games to release and playing this demo every day. The demo was originally only obtainable, through a special distribution code, but was later released via the Nintendo 3DS eShop on December 27th in North America and Europe, while being released from August 2nd to September 30th of 2016 in Japan. Can I ask you to consider subscribing to the channel? We are still on our way to a thousand subscribers, a big milestone that I cannot do without your help, and currently we are sitting at a 92.2% unsubscribed viewer rate. That means you're probably unsubscribed. Maybe consider uh, doing something about that? Really appreciate it. When you open the demo for the first time, you are greeted by your trainer character, Orlando, riding on a Latias with Steven. Fun fact, the main character in this game is named Orlando, because he looks like Orlando Bloom. That's not true, I made that up. But it is true that the Japanese name for this character is Omega. That's kind of cool. Anyway, Steven fills us in on why we are tagging along. He needs our help. A professor he knows has had all of the research stolen by a bad group of people and it's up to us to stop them. We head to the space center and greeting us at the front door are two team magma grunts who refer to us as obstacles, a child, and a quite stunning male specimen. Honestly, I'm not sure how they knew, but I'll take the compliment. They challenge us to a battle. So in order to protect ourselves, Steven offers us a choice. I went with Combuskin because my girlfriend was sitting next to me and likes his big, thick legs. Referring to the Pokemon as double cheeked up on a Tuesday afternoon. I'm not joking, she was sitting right here. It just, that was her response. I don't. So we hopped into battle and smacked that Poochiana with a double kick. The professor comes out after all the hard work has been handled and tells us Team Magma has learned the location of a Pokemon capable of mega evolution. And of course, it's up to us to stop them. So we are off once again on the back of Latias to chase down these Team Magma Grunts, landing us on a Mirage Island. Every location, by the way, besides Moss Deep City, is a Mirage Island, in case you needed to know. We find two Grunts loafing around the entrance to a cave, so we challenge them to a battle. Their Zubat and Numel stand no chance. Inside, we meet May and a couple of Team Aqua Grunts, bragging about how good their midriffs look in their outfits. We do manage to scare the pants off of May though, so that's a win I guess. Her screams of terror catch the attention of the two grunts, who then challenge us to a battle. But again, they get smacked down, allowing our Combustion to evolve into Blaziken. Then May pieces out, probably to go change her pants. The grunts, however, now let us pass, and this introduces us to a couple of team admins, with some pretty obvious sexual tension between them. <laughs> you are pretty funny little man. I love funny, interesting dudes. That's it bro. Let's smash it out with a battle. Like guys, I get it, but like, th there's children here. Luckily, the dreamy Steven shows up just in time and teaches my Blaziken to use a Blast Burn. He also gives us a Mega Bracelet and a Blaziken Knight. And since we interrupted their flirty banter, the two admins decide it's time to teach us a lesson. Sharpedo and Camerupt versus Blaziken and Shiny Metagross. Now before we get too excited, this is scripted to be shiny, but that did not stop me from having to stop and look it up just to make sure because I thought I had gotten something special. Turns out, everything in this game, all the wild encounters, everything is shiny locked. So both Steven and I decide to really style on these fools and mega evolve, leaving them with no chance to survive our attacks. This humiliating defeat did not stop them from complimenting Steven though. Man, this guy must really just be the Ryan Reynolds of the Pokemon world. Absolutely no one is able to dismiss those devilish good looks. Steven and I must now find and capture this mega capable wild Pokemon that Magma and Aqua were after. Thankfully, Steven could smell it or something in this one very specific piece of tall grass. And when I entered, I found a Glalie. I captured it, named it appropriately, and Steven whisks us away back to Mosteep City where he thanks us for our help 
and a trailer for the then upcoming full release of Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire plays. We are not done yet though, there is still a Glalie that needs transferred. And some more rewards that you can get for playing through some more adventures. And I did play through all 10 of these bite-sized side quests so you guys can see exactly what you get. And I would not suggest doing this yourself because it is not worth it. The items you get is not worth it. As we know, you can get a Steelix or Glalie, depending on the region you live in, on your first completion. 10 Pokeballs are your reward for your third completion. 10 Heal Balls after 5. 5 Heart Scales after 10. And according to Bulbapedia, which is where I'm getting the information for pretty much all of this, shout out Bulbapedia, you can get a nugget after completing a secret mission. But I guess that secret is pretty well kept because I didn't complete that one. Sending these rewards to the full release is pretty simple though. All you have to do is talk to Steven, who is outside the Mosty Pokemon Center, and ask to send to full game. Then you can select the item you would like to send. Note that you can only send one item per day. I'm using the heal balls for this demonstration because I actually want this Glalie for a project that I'm working on, and it's not ready to be received yet. But the steps for items and Pokemon being transferred are exactly the same. Once the transfer is successful, open your copy of Pokemon Omega Ruby or Alpha Sapphire. Before entering the game, on the main menu, scroll down to where it says Pokemon Link. Click. And when it asks you if you would like to receive data, click Yes. Your items or Pokemon will then be downloaded and sent to your PC or bag. Now, like I said at the beginning of the video, this is not the only way to get Glalite. Glalite? Gl 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 glissite? There's actually nothing exclusive to the demo, unlike the Sun and Moon demo, which I posted in a couple days ago, if you haven't seen it yet. But it's still a really fun piece of Nintendo and Pokemon history that, that I felt like I didn't want to let get swept under the rug with all of the arguably more important things people are covering about the 3DS eShop and Wii U eShop getting shut down. We're losing access to a ton of titles and accessory content like these demos and it's honestly really sad. I said this at the end of the Sun and Moon video but I'll say it again, I think Pokemon needs to bring these demos back. I think there's a lot of issues that could have been resolved before Scarlet and Violet came out if they had given us access in some capacity to the games to mess around, see what kind of glitches the general public can find, kind of poke and prod and see what kind of stuff they might be able to fix if they had given us access to the games in a demo format, you know, a couple months before the games actually released. I think it would have released in a lot more of a solid state and we wouldn't have the massive outcry of people wanting their refunds and talking bad about the game that we have right now. Because realistically, while the, the core gameplay for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is incredibly fun, and I myself spent hundreds of hours in the game already, I also have spent 100 hours plus in the game already and can admit that it is not perfect. It is flawed. There are bugs. And I think these demos, if they wanted to bring them back in the future, could be a viable way of doing some of that testing. Now, should you rush to download this for yourself? Now, unless you are a gaming collector or historian, history enjoyer, whatever that I, like me, uh, probably not. You don't really need it. It doesn't serve a purpose other than being cool and, hey, I still have this on my 3DS. You can't download it anymore. You know, if you want bragging rights, I guess. But you definitely should not forget this time in Pokemon and Nintendo history. So if there's anything that you learned from this video, let it be this. Pokemon is the cool. That that work for you? That a life lesson? Also, before you go, YouTube thinks you might like this video. I have no idea what it is, but YouTube knows you pretty well. So, alternatively, can I suggest this video? If you have not seen it yet, this is my Pokemon Sun and Moon demo video where I kind of go over it and play along and show you guys how to get Ash Ninja. So, with that, I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you all for watching. Bye-bye.